It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. I am back. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to do this video, you guys. So many people have been asking me about how and why I dust my furniture with the Bath and Body Works body cream. This is like the best hack ever. I don't even know how I first started doing this. So I don't like spray on furniture polish like lemon pledge no it gives me asthma and my friend you know everyone's furniture gets dusty it's funny you know when you notice the dust like when you're sitting in the kitchen or something and you look and the lights filtering in and you look at like something you're like why there's a lot of dust on my tv stand oh my goodness so i think what was happening was i kind of noticed the dust about 15 years ago and i didn't have any furniture polish and I'm like, gosh, what could I just like dust my furniture with? And I kind of looked over and it was like Bath and Body Works. So <laughs> I think that's how I got started. So what's interesting is I only use the body curtain. The body butter is too thick. The body lotion is too thin. This is the formula I use. Now, I don't have like ridiculously expensive furniture, um, I've had my bedroom set for probably 20 years and I've been using this method of dusting for like 15 years and it's in great shape. So I don't know if it's the shea butter. I don't know if it's the cocoa butter. I don't know, but it works with the hyaluronic acid too. So basically what I do is a lot of times, you know how like maybe you get a body cream that you bought too much of at semi annual sale or maybe there's a scent that you're not crazy about on your body, but you're like, you don't want to throw it away. Or you get a scent that maybe is getting a little bit to the end of its life. Um, if you shake up body cream and it's like going sloshy, <laughs> it's probably pretty much done. But if you mix it together, um, sometimes you can save it. So... I actually uh, yesterday used the Sweetheart Cherry on my furniture. So basically what I do is I take like, I have a pile of like old wash rags. Um, I like to use the like terry cloth ones. This works the best. And then what you do is you just put um, the body cream either right on the washcloth or you can kind of rub it around a little bit or you just put it right on the furniture. And then what you do is you simply just wipe down your furniture. I'm just doing this. Well, for demonstration purposes back here. Actually, these shelves are really dusty. I actually do need to dust. I'm, I'm looking at them going, I need to dust. And what's nice is the body cream and the terry cloth picks that dust up like crazy. I think it works better than furniture polish, personally. And then your furniture is left looking super shiny. Um, the dust is gone. And it just looks beautiful. You know what's interesting, too? So I have this really old cedar chest. It's like maybe like 80 or 90 years old. It's all scratched up. It's disgusting. And um, it always looks bad until I polish it up. And then it looks great for like another, you know, couple of weeks or whatever until it starts to, you know, wear off, I guess. But anyway, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this moisturizes your furniture. I know nothing about like furniture necessarily, but it feels like it just gives your furniture like this glowing look. I mean, I just can't even believe the difference. I just did this piece right here and um, took the dust off, made it all shiny. And what you want to be careful about though, is you don't want to like rub in too much otherwise you know you're gonna have like a film and then you could take the other side and just like buff it almost is what you want to do and then your furniture is gonna smell like whatever body cream you just used so that's really nice too because it's kind of like um taking your entire house and making it smell like bath and body works through um you know furniture polishing your furniture. So I'm a huge, I've been doing this for years. I'm a huge fan of doing this. If you want to, you can use the aromatherapy. Um, oh my gosh, Peach Bellini. I used this in the bedroom the other day and it just made everything smell really good. My husband was even like, wow, it smells great in here. I'm like, I know it smells great. <laughs> so it's a good way to kind of freshen up the room. It's another additional fragrance to add into the room. 
and your furniture gets all like nice and shiny and there's no dust on it. So uh, like I said, I've been doing this for years and years and years. A lot of people are like, well, does it hurt like expensive furniture? I have no idea because I don't have expensive furniture. So uh, my advice is to test it out on your furniture um, and just see if it works. A lot of people have said they've used this on their leather couches too um, to kind of, you know, Buff it up, make it look nice, make it smell nice. But it's funny because that's like my number one super fun hack for Bath and Body Works. I also use um, like my salt scrubs uh, as an abrasive in my bathtub. I like bleach too, but a lot of times like uh, what's nice about like the salt scrub is it's a good abrasive in like your bathtub. Trust me, you could use all of these products to clean with. They work so well. So if you have extra body cream, don't throw it out. Use it on your furniture. Trust me, I know a lot of people who have been watching my channel for years have been doing this too. Uh, leave a comment below. And then what I do is, um, like I said, I just have a stack of these terry cloth uh, wash rags, and then I'll just throw them all in the washer at the same time. I should use I should use a Bath and Body Works laundry detergent <laughs> on my washcloths for this. Um, but yeah, and then I just have a pile of these, and I wash them, and then I put them in the clean pile. And I I have I have the cleanest furniture, the most dust free home that I've had in years when I do this because I enjoy it. It's fun. It's fun to dust your furniture with Bath and Body Works. So anyway, that is my big Bath and Body Works hack. <laughs> um, let me know if you're doing this and um, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.